Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, I will teach you how to implement pagination. As you can see in the screen, I have already implemented the pagination, but I will guide you step by step on the process. For example, if we click on page 2, as you can see, we have other products loaded. So stay with me and I'm going to guide you to the process. Without wasting time, let's begin. By the way, if this is your first time in this channel, consider to subscribe and hit the notification button to receive more videos. With that being said, let's jump in our code editor. And now in our code editor, as you can see in our backend API, I've already implemented the pagination. Okay, so if you haven't watched uh, this video, so I will link it in the description. Okay, so this is uh, this video where I teach uh, the implementation of pagination in our backend, and now I will continue in the front end to implement it. Okay. Now the npm package that we are going to use is on design. Okay, as you can see, you see this is the link. Okay, and um, as you can see, this is uh, their documentation. Okay, but we're gonna use uh, in our case pagination. As you can see, we should import the name pagination from font design. Okay, we have to do it here installed. And also we should import I mean their CSS okay to make this uh, wet look okay so now let's go um, to our code editor to implement this okay now going back to our code editor and uh, in home.js so let's import in the CSS part from mdesign and the pagination well let's scroll down Okay, let's see where I'm gonna put our pagination called SN9. Okay, after the row. So let's uh, open. I will need only one. Okay, so we're gonna pass up a couple of, uh, I mean, uh, pops. We're gonna need the I mean, current. Okay, like so. And current for current page. And after that, we're gonna need. I mean, this will be the total of page, okay, like so. And uh, also, we will need uh, the page size, okay, page size, okay, like so. Okay, so we have to pass uh, in between, uh, I mean, current, okay, uh, the current page we wanna pass the page number, okay, the total. So we have this in uh, our, I mean, uh, you see, from here we have the count, okay. Um, we have the number of the page, okay. So uh, we have the, here we can have, if we are on page one, two, three, et cetera. Okay, so let's implement this. Okay, now we are going back to, I mean, uh, to our, our home page. As you can see, I have to create, I mean, uh, what we will put uh, in, in those code voices. For example, I have implemented just for example, I mean, uh, uh, page size three. Okay, so I will pass three here, just as example, but uh, you are free to add, uh, I mean, uh, any page size you want because I have, uh, I mean, uh, only five products, so I need to make it three so that you can see um, that our pagination is working, right? So I need to fill this, uh, these two curly braces. Now for current page, I need to create, I mean, uh, um, two more, um, okay. So uh, in uh, our first one, this will be page number, okay, and uh, set set page number, okay. So how page number by default it will be one, okay. 
okay and uh, after that i need to add up okay set count will end with the total that we have okay the you you, you see here total let me show you here you see we have this will return i mean no total okay so um let's go back here okay here this will be uh has a default value zero okay so now let's add i mean page number and count in their respective place this will be page number and here this will be count now um now we have a couple of things i mean to do okay so uh, as we have passed i mean uh, okay this we have also another query parameter the name is uh, let me show you it is uh, we have passed as uh, query parameter page number okay so let me i mean go back here so i will add another and and page uh let's go to page number okay equal so when i use i mean the string okay and now pass okay so now we have handle i mean uh, the i mean the endpoint okay so um we have one things to do here so i'm gonna use the set count okay okay set count here will receive first data as you can see all uh let me show you this count okay so go back count okay now uh, i have uh, the count okay and uh one more thing to do it's with the page number okay so we need uh when we click to pass to the next page number so we have uh we have to add uh i mean a uh, point change event okay in here so let me add a change event on change event okay so i need to be able to update I mean the value each time we click okay so when we click uh, for example on the i mean page two etc okay so what i'm going to add to get the previous value or you can do like so well to get the previous value okay and uh add now set i mean uh, page number okay set page number okay and we pass the value so it will pass the previous value okay so that we will get uh, the i mean previous value to be updated anytime okay so now we are almost uh, done so um let's um I mean, before testing, I have one more thing to do. So even it's almost ready, but uh, when we click, the our pagination might not work. Why? It's because we need to pass. I mean, uh, the page number has a array of dependency. Okay, we have fetch product. Okay, see fetch product. So I need to pass in fetch product uh this uh a page number so that when we click next so we have our next page okay each time we modify uh we have a uh, page number each time it's been modified so it will uh, trigger the other page right okay let's say 
and now um, let's give it a try in our front end okay guys as you can see i have uh, my pagination okay you see here and if we click uh, next page okay as you can see go to the next page okay and the first page and goes to the third page okay guys so that was it for this lesson so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends so that more people i mean can see our videos okay and the more you like it the more it helps with youtube algorithm in and it's also a way to encourage me to do more videos so with that being said thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye